ASAP Rocky. Okay. And Rihanna. And we're going to take a look and see um, what's going on. There's some rumors going on. Yeah, um, I, I've been hearing some things, I, but I don't believe them. I've been hearing, like, breakups. Yeah, nothing confirmed. I, 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 I see a lot of blogs have been blogging and putting out, I, I, from what I'm hearing, false information. But it still gives us, us an idea of a good topic to talk about. Because when you are a woman and you're a top tier and you got a guy who's second tier, how does it work? How, how do you guys stay in that position? Can you last a decade? Can you last 20 years? But let's get in this video and let's 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 see what it's about. Yeah, let's entertainment. Let's start with this uh, first clip. Uh, there's two parts to this. We're gonna start with the first one real quick. All right, man. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky have reportedly called it quits. But that's not all. Whispers in the grapevine are suggesting that Rocky might be eyeing a jaw-dropping $100 million in child support from Riri. So, what exactly is going on? In a recent revelation that has sent shockwaves across the entertainment world, Media Takeout, a prominent news outlet, has disseminated an explosive report claiming that Rihanna and Rocky, the power couple known for their musical prowess and magnetic presence, have allegedly called it quits. If this revelation holds true, the ramifications of this split would be nothing short of blockbuster, potentially leading to the messiest unwinding of a high-profile relationship that fans have witnessed in recent memory. According to the report, an inside source disclosed that Rihanna and her husband, the acclaimed rapper Rocky, have decided to take a break from each other, signaling a pause in their relationship. The news became public knowledge when Rihanna was spotted dining alone at San Vincent's Bungalow Club in West Hollywood on Halloween night, October 31st. The sight of the pop sensation, dressed in leather pants and a matching a girl coat, can't go dining out by solo, painted a somber picture. As she left the restaurant <laughs> alone, her demeanor seemed reflective of the alleged relationship strain, further fueling the speculation surrounding their supposed break. Earlier that day, Rocky was seen shopping alone at Bottega Veneta on Melrose in West Hollywood. The father of two wore a leather coat and cargo Yo, pants. A man he can't carried shop a shopping bag to his blue Bentley Azure convertible after doing some yeah. retail therapy. Rihanna, who's known for her incredible wealth, faces serious financial consequences due to this potential breakup. Her estimated net worth is close to a billion dollars. The situation is more complicated because the couple has two good. children together. If they do break up officially, it could get expensive. Child support payments are a significant concern in such cases. Good luck. All right, we're going to pause that right there. So, Bruh. again, just for the people watching, nothing's confirmed yet. This is a Entertainment. rumor. Entertainment. Started a couple days ago. <laughs> um, but how do you feel? Do you think these rumors are real? Because people are complaining. Why is this rumor starting? They just were on a date last night or the other night uh, together. Celebrity News. What do we think about that? I don't know. You are gay. I, I, I say, <laughs> I'll say it again. Why are you gay? You think people should stop doing this? Um, you are gay. Yeah. Or you think this is destiny that eventually this this uh, relationship will be Bruh. gone? I will be 100% honest with you. I, I'm tired of seeing black families break up in America. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing black men not step up to the plate and be kings and, and know how to take your position. <laughs> but... Nah, I don't believe this shit, man. I, I, I don't want to believe it because I, I want to see these guys be successful. I truly do. I don't, I'm not that hater. I understand that people say ASAP Rocky's gay. Yeah, you know I'm saying he ain't gay. I don't think so. I just think he's entertainment. Like, he's a prince. Like, like how Prince was in the 80s. He's a little feminine. You what? Some niggas are like that. But some women don't want that. Most women don't want that. They want a motherfucker like Andrew Tate. Or they want a motherfucker like Future. Or they want a motherfucker like Drake. Or they want a motherfucker like Nas. Or they want a motherfucker like Jay-Z. And they even want motherfucking Kanye. I when mean, the, the last time that this rumor started is because they were on a magazine cover together. And he was in the background holding the children. And she was in the front leading the way. What does that magazine look like? I'm, I'm trying to think. Can, can we yeah, we're gonna, yeah, let me yeah. pull it up real quick yeah. to refresh your memory here. Yeah, let's see that real quick. And while I'm talking, um, yeah. But let me tell you something, guys. It's very, very simple. Um, 
Rihanna is a goddess and she's a multi-billionaire and will be for the rest of her life. And they can be by themselves. They can separate. It is hard to have a network like she does and be in a position like she is and still try to maintain a relationship. You got to understand women who have money and power, they don't like giving that shit up. They don't. So can she give up the power to ASAP Rocky? And in this Vogue magazine, you can see. Yeah, this is a Vogue cover from, I don't know, last year, earlier this year. It was not that long ago. Denied. Oh, it tells you right here. March of 2023. So this year. Listen. What do you think about that cover or I, that I, picture? I, I think it makes a man look very feminine. I think, uh, I think it makes a man look like he's in the background of a, of a woman. Where a man should lead. It's basically saying women should lead men. And this is a world you do not want to be in. I, and, and listen, Rihanna's deserving of everything she's accomplished. I am not a Rihanna, a Rihanna hater. I think she's an amazing artist. And she has the fan base she deserves to have. But can she give up that robe every time she goes home? When she's not touring or creating businesses, can she give up the crown when she goes home? Can she go back into that feminine role? And I think the answer is no. So this is what I'm saying about blogs, right? Because we all shoot out information and we could be right or wrong. All these guys are just trying to get their shot so they can say it came here first like TMZ. That's all these guys are trying to be. That's why they put all this false information. But what we're going to do it here at the Cash Money Dreams uh, podcast, this is what we're going to do. We're going to basically say, we want them to work. I want to see them be successful, but I just want to know, can they last five years? Yeah, it's a lot of money on the line, uh, according to... Well, let's let's watch the last part of this. There's just about 30 seconds left cool. to this clip, and let's see uh, if there's any more information we can gather from this. Entertainment. Can they, can they last 10 years? According to Page Six, before performing one of Riri's favorite songs, Sundress, ASAP was heard saying, I'd like to dedicate this song to my beautiful wife in the building. Page Six later reached out to Rihanna and Rocky's reps for comment, but they are yet to publicly address the marriage speculation. In any case, the rumors of their separation have not been officially verified, leaving room for the possibility that they might be unfounded, much like previous speculations. All right, let's pause that right there again. So basically, they're ignoring it. Somebody reached out or people reached out say, hey, can you confirm y'all are still together or not together? Why would they? And they ignored it. And you know what that what happens when you ignore it? People keep listen, speculating even more. Listen, world, Bruh. it's none of your fucking business what, what they do. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Get out of their business. Stop worrying how they operate. You need to get rich and get on that mountain and stop worrying about what celebrities doing, for real. But the issue is this, okay? It's very simple. Can a woman give up her power? She's on her second child. Even if they break up, she's going to have to do what Mariah did, pay a child support to a man. Emotional, damn it. And he might get a million dollars a month. That's what, and, and she might have to pay that to the children at 18. Is she taking the L for a lot of women? Would you pay a man a million dollars a month in child support? Is that you what? Is that fair? You make men do it, right? <laughs> is there a double standard? You got to understand this. I don't want to see them in the relationship. I don't want to see them break up, but I do want to see them figure out the power position. Everybody want that Jay-Z and Beyonce position, but Jay-Z is a one percenter. He's worth three billion dollars. Are you Jay-Z? Denied. No, you're not. It's hard to get in that position. But and it's hard to find a Beyonce. It's hard to find a woman who's committed to only the family and the business. Well, Rihanna's the Beyonce and Jay-Z of this relationship. That's I the agree. Thing. And this is why I'm saying it can work. But it's most likely not going to work. But what happens when they decide to break up? What is next for Rihanna? That is the question. That's why the blogs are all wrong. These blogs or these, these, these YouTubers are trying to make these people break up. I'm not trying to do that. Here at the Cash Money Dream podcast, we're not doing that shit. What we're saying is basically this. You are fake news. What are you guys going to do if you broke up? And what is next for Rihanna? 
What man do you take next? Because you can't go back to Drake. You can't go back to Drake. And I truly, I truly believe Drake loved Rihanna, but Drake lives in a world that women can't control. When you are top tier men, a woman can't control you. It's just that simple. She can't. She she doesn't have the ability to control a top tier man. He's gonna step out. He's gonna cheat here and there. He will treat you like a princess. He will take you all over the world. But he's gonna do things different than what most men attach you, like the the Vogue magazine shows. ASAP Rocky's in the background. He's he's basically attached to her titty. Do you want a man to lead or do you want a man to follow? You women have to make a a, a decision. But it comes down to this. It's very simple. What man do she choose next? Is there even a man for Rihanna when you hit a billion dollar status like Kim Kardashian? And the answer is no. Not the one. These men don't exist because why would they date you? If I have a billion dollars or $500 million, why would I commit to you when I can easily go rent a yacht every day in Monaco, fly on a helicopter and eat five star meals and fly women in? That's 21 to 27 daily. Y'all women don't understand that. These men don't have to commit to you. Gotcha. They just don't. It's less of us, more of you. So why would a man do that? Now, can she find her top tier man? Yes. It's going to have to be somebody like Nas. I would love to see Nas with Rihanna. That'd be dope. Well, he gonna, he, he's going to have a couple of kids around too see, now. But, but that's the issue. But I think he has kids. So it can work. If a man, if a woman has multiple kids and a man has multiple kids and you guys start a family, it can work that way. Yeah, it'd be like the Brady Bunch. I mean, it can work. Can it? Because that's, but if a woman coming into a situation and you got one, two, three kids, it ain't, I don't think it can work for a man that's worth a nah. hundred million dollars. You want this guy to be step daddy. It is not going to work. I don't care how much money you got. Men who settle for women with children it, it it's a it's a it's a special type of guy, a guy who comes into your life and settles for you. When you have two, three different baby daddies, that's a different type of guy. High tier men do not accept this shit, and if they do, they're like Stephen fucking Harvey. Stay away. F- Listen, you man must not follow a man like this. I don't care how much money he has. Yes, for all the men screaming in the background. You got to be like a boss. You got to be a boss. You can't be in this dream world. You can't be delusional. I would just say this because we're going to get into another topic. I got one more minute on this um, topic with Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. I want them to be successful. Me personally, I want them to be successful. I hope they figure out their roles because they're beautiful for the world. But it has to work. It has to work. Put your man in a position to be a billionaire like you. You a billionaire. Put him in a position to get money like you. So y'all both don't have to worry about this competition and everybody in your business. You got a billion dollars. Put your branding deal into ASAP Rocky. Ain't he a model? And he's been in Vogue too? Entertainment. And, he, and he's the voice of, uh, of the, the special hip-hop kids that's, that's different, that has a swag and weirdoness to them that most people don't know. You, so if you're a woman that has this power, you must you must bigger your man so you both can live like Jay-Z and Beyonce. But listen, I would tell you guys this. I wish them best, Rihanna, ASAP Rocky. I'm not going to be the blog that shit on them yet. I want to see what they can create within the next three, uh, five years, what I mean. Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.